We welcome you right here to Sao Paulo, Brazil. What's happening here today is a Jesus march. And we have estimates from 1.8 million all the way to two and a half million people that stretch as far as you can see this way and as far as you can see this way. Without a doubt, this is one of the biggest worship services that you could ever be a part of. We are on top of a huge semi-tractor trailer. We are in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and we are in the middle of the Jesus March 2000. 18 right here in Sao Paulo. Look at what you're seeing here. This is absolutely an amazing event that we wanted to bring to you right here from Sao Paulo. This is amazing. I don't know anything that he said, but welcome to Sao Paulo. I am telling you, this is something that America maybe never has heard of, but there's I think a couple million people here today. This is what they do every year here. They have a Jesus March, and I'm telling you what, Brazil knows how to rock a Jesus March. We are here in this beautiful day. This family behind us, the Hernandez family, is absolutely the most beautiful family, and um, they started this. 26 years ago, I believe. Read a gospel is our partnered network here, one of the partner networks we have in Brazil. And they have taken the Jesus March to a whole nother level right here in Sao Paulo. So what the connection is, is the Hernandez family, Apostle Stephen, I think is behind me, and his wife and is right here, Sonia, and his daughter is Fernanda, she's right here. So, Fernanda, I'm just trying to give a bit of an explanation. So, in America, this may be, we may be showing this for the first time in America to many people. Just your thoughts about this. This is normal to you, but it is not normal to American audiences. What, it, how did this happen? It's been 26 years that we've been marching for Jesus. Uh, for 10 years, the march is a federal law. We've been fighting for the march. Now, forever, we have the right to march at the streets for our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is a movement where we gather all the churches, everybody who loves Jesus. We, we've been working on that man for over 30 years. So we can put all the barriers down and for one day we can get together and show the world that we love. We have only one God, only one Lord, and his name is Jesus, our Lord. This is amazing. And the, the way that the people are organized is through Red A Gospel, through the TV and the radio channels that you operate here. And how many are you expecting to be a part of this celebration today? Okay, the official numbers right now, it's 1.8 million persons on the streets. And this is amazing. Why? Because Brazil had a gas stroke last week. And everybody was like, oh my God, how the people are going to make it? And we went to the radio and to the television and we tell them, too much, we, we don't need gas. We just need to be there. So the people, everybody was helping one another. And this is something more than special this year. Because the other years was easier for them to be here. But every person that you see here, they had to fight double this year to be here because they had to find a way to be here. But once you march, you are going to march forever.
You like my t-shirt? <laughs> they made them for us. We're so excited to be here in Sao Paulo at the March for Jesus with the beautiful Hernandez family. Red A Gospel, just precious, precious, sweet family members of ours and they're right over here. Come on in. Come on, Come on in. Let me <laughs> just say Mama, this. Bishop Sonia. That Red A Gospel is 24 hours a day right here in Brazil preaching and teaching the love and the power and the grace of Jesus Christ. In fact, in some of the shots kind of over our shoulder is one of their transmitters right here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, one of the biggest cities in the entire world. But amazing, amazing partner to TBN, Red A Gospel. Okay, Bishop Sonia Hernanda, uh, just why don't we start by saying, look, a picture's worth a thousand words. Everyone sees over our shoulder, you see that there are an estimated two million people here for the march and the concert all day, by the way, live on Red A Gospel. But what, what about the, where did this come from? Because a lot of people are gonna wonder how, how this happened. So help us understand what we're seeing with our eyes. Começou uma visão, uma visão que, que o Senhor deu para o meu marido. Everything started with a vision that God has given to my husband. We were such a small group. We were 30 people at the time. But God was always giving words to my father, to her husband, saying that uh, he would be in front of millions of people exalting the name of Jesus. Então, Deus abriu as portas e nós trouxemos o gospel para o Brasil e começamos a evangelizar nas ruas jovens, principalmente viciados. So God opened a way for us and we start to bring the, the Christian music to Brazil, the gospel music, the, rock, uh, the Christian rock and music and all the... So we start to preach the gospel for the youth, for the, addiction, for the ones that had addictions. Abriu as portas de uma rádio pra gente, por, sobrenaturalmente, era uma hora. And we start with one hour in a, in a radio, a FM radio here. It was the first church to be in a FM radio in Brazil. Only one hour, and that's it. Eu creio que os anjos que levavam a onda da rádio porque ela era muito fraca. And she believes that the angels would take the uh, the signal because the the radio was so so little and the signal was so poor. But everybody was listening to the to the show. Daí ficaram 12 horas e quando nós fizemos um ano. A gente fez a primeira marcha para Jesus. And after this one hour, it became 12 hours. And after one year that we had the radio, we made the first march for Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. E não paramos mais. And we never stopped. We know that this was something that God has planned. Beautiful. If you just tuned in, we are here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Apostle Stefan, come on in. First of all, about four or five years ago, we met in Jerusalem, Israel, and for today to be happening, for today to work, for us to be able to link with Red A Gospel to bring this amazing sight. Uh, you know, look, a picture's worth a thousand words, and drone pictures are worth even more than a thousand words. So we have our drone flying over top and uh, we want to wave. <laughs> and let me just tell you something. This is one amazing day. And what you're doing, I believe, what I believe is happening is you're setting a standard. My belief, my vision, my goal is that by people around the world seeing that Brazil can do something so amazing that it'll be reproduced now all over the world. That March for Jesus is not just for Brazil. It'll be for the world. And we're getting to show that. Just your thoughts today on an amazing afternoon here in Sao Paulo. 
É impressionante. It is incredible. Eu creio em planos de Deus. I believe in God's plans. E quando nós nos encontramos em Jerusalém, And when we met in Jerusalem, Deus tinha um plano superior. God has a superior plan for us. Porque a TBN faz parte de um plano superior de Deus. Part of God's superior plan. E hoje ter vocês aqui na marcha para Jesus. And today to have you here at the march for Jesus. Para nós é um grande sinal de Deus. For us is a sign from God. Porque o canal para levar esta visão para o mundo. Because the channel to bring this vision all over the world. É a TBN. It's TBN. It's you guys. E nós cremos como você falou. And we believe as you just said, Matt. Essa não é uma visão só para o Brasil. This is not a vision only to Brazil. É uma visão para o mundo. It's a vision all over the world. We are in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we are with the Hernandez family. They are the founders of Red A Gospel. Red A Gospel is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, lifting up Jesus. And we are all a part of the Jesus March today. We are a part of one of the most amazing things. And we believe, the, the, the group of us believe, that God brought us together so that the globe would understand the importance of lifting up Jesus around the world with these kind of events. This has changed Sao Paulo, Brazil, and it can change cities around the world. Apostle Stefan, the, the connection now that I see, the Jewish flags, all of the people all along the route that we saw on our way to meet up with you just now, we were seeing a lot of support for Israel. Israel is always in the news, but it's in the news especially now. How, how is the connection to Brazil and to Israel, why is that so important? Israel. Israel. It's the Holy Land. Israel. Israel. It is the, the chosen land. It is the, the, the land that was promised by God. And Brazil is part of the history of Israel. Because 70 years ago, the vote that determined that uh, that was the vote that chosen o de the state of Israel. Foi de um it was made by a Brazilian. E nós temos ligações so we have strong connections, spiritual connections, Jesus because Jesus veio de Israel. came from Israel. Nós a terra so de Israel. we love Israel. Nós o povo de Israel. We love the Israel people, and we pray. And we, we pray for the peace, for the prosper of Jerusalem. And we believe that Jerusalem is the capital of the Jewish people. We believe that there is the capital, the spiritual capital of the world. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of uh, Sao Paulo and the Jesus March, we thought that we would decompress a little bit and uh, 
we welcome you to a beautiful setting right here. We're still in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Our host, Apostle Stephen in English is your, is your name. That's easier for us Americans to say. First of all, thank you for the invitation to be a part of an event, sir, that I've never seen anything like in my whole life. In America, I remember a event called Washington for Jesus. I remember this event in 1980, 1988. There was hundreds of thousands of people in Washington. But yesterday, everywhere you looked, there was hundreds of thousands of people. And today, as I look out, all I see is beautiful fruit trees. I see nature. And it's hard to believe I'm still in Sao Paulo. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Apostle Stephen, for uh, this invitation. And from your pastor's heart to the people, what, what are you preaching today that is affecting people's lives here in Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo and Brazil needs, need in this time, hope. Hope. Yes. Because we have a lot, a lot of problems. We have problems in the economy. We have problems in the families. And some people don't have hope. Mm. And I think it's important we, when I preach hope, faith, because uh, the people need more strong experience with the power of the God. Mm -hmm. And this power comes from the hope, yeah. like the Bible says. So, Brazil, if, if I think about what I know about this country, I think of football, <laughs> I think of yeah. soccer, yeah. Okay? I think of a very strong image, Neymar, who wore a headband that yeah. said 100% Jesus. But there are also big problems here. Is that why the people need hope? Yes, because Brazil is a wonderful country. Yeah. Brazil has a special people, the Brazilian people. And the country has the petroleum, uh, beaches. We, the eighth economy in the world. Wow. But we have a problem. I think the, the principal problem is the corruption. Mm. And this make a destruction, the values. Mm. And the, when the people look to the future, the people think it, it's like impossible. Oh. Two weeks ago, Brazil uh, like a shake because we have a strike. You had a gasoline, petroleum, petroleum strike. Petroleum. Yeah, it's been a very severe thing in your newspapers and there it, was a shortage on gasoline. Because the strike. Yeah. Uh, it, it, this is one problem. But the message of the gospel is very, very important because this moment, when the people uh, receive hope, faith this make these people more strong yeah. and the last census showed we have 40 percent the uh, population of the brazil is confess jesus christ wow 40 percent 40 percent what an amazing statistic how many people pastor do you have coming through your church now on a weekend how many how many are coming regularly to your church 50,000 yeah so 50,000 members now go through the churches and how many locations do you have now we have 800 locations 800 yes you you are a man that believes in the prayer of faith you believe in miracles you believe in putting inside people an experience with God so that they have hope 
in the future. This is your main message as it pertains to yesterday in as much as it was hard to hear each other and yeah. everything was loud. I felt the a very, very unique presence of the Lord I mean, in the midst of, I have to say the word organized chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, of you understand? <laughs> it was organized. Yeah. We were all going in one direction, yeah. but it was, it was, it was chaos. And it was all to bring attention to the name and the person of Jesus. Yeah. What a pleasure to be a part of that. Yeah. And it's such a beautiful experience. And my final question to you. Okay. Why do you do what you do? Because I love Jesus. Because I have the salvation. Because my destiny is not in this earth. My destiny is the heaven. Because I have a commission and a mission to preach the gospel, to show the people the, the grace, mm. the love, the passion. Because Jesus, for me, is all my life. Yeah. Somebody asked me, look, you don't need to do more much for Jesus. Hmm. You don't need. And I say, no. This is my life. This is my life. You have put together something that I think is raised the bar. And my prayer is that when people see this, that they will contact you so that they can coordinate march for Jesus in other parts of the world Amen. so that he can be lifted up in many more Amen. parts of the world, that Brazil can take the lead Amen. in what this is doing. I receive. Brazil. And we are with the Hernandez family. They are the founders of Red A Gospel. Red A Gospel is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, lifting up Jesus. And we are all a part of the Jesus March today. We are a part of one of the most amazing things. And we believe, the, the, the group of us believe, that God brought us together so that the globe would understand the importance of lifting up Jesus around the world with these kind of events. This has changed Sao Paulo, Brazil, and it can change cities around the world. Do something, just pray for this audience that are watching right now. What an amazing afternoon here in Sao Paulo. É o momento de Deus. Special moment of God. Momento de Deus para tua vida. It's a moment of God for your life. Este momento. This moment. Deus preparou. God has prepared. Para você, para tua família. For you, for your family. E eu quero deixar esta palavra. And I want to leave you a message. Quando o Senhor Jesus Cristo é levantado. When the name of Jesus is lifted up. Ele atrai as vidas. The souls are attracted to him. E essa tarde maravilhosa, so this amazing afternoon, onde está subindo um louvor ao Deus vivo, where is a worship is going up for the living God, Jesus, onde os anjos do Senhor estão aqui, where the angels of God are here, eu quero que você receba, I want you to receive esta unção, this anointing, que saiu de um túmulo em Jerusalém, that came from Jerusalem, está viva, and it is living.
que é o poder da ressurreição. It is the power of the resurrection. Que a graça inaugurada por Cristo. The grace that Jesus has brought to us. Que trouxe a nós. That has brought to us. Livre acesso. Free access. Ao que era só do sacerdote. Of what only the only the priest would be there. Posso agora entrar na tua vida. Now is reaching your life. I pray over your life. Pela tua cura for your healing pela tua libertação for your freedom e para um novo tempo de Deus and for a new season of God você veja so you can see grandes coisas the great things que o nosso Deus because our God é o Deus dos impossíveis it's the God of the impossibles eu quero compartilhar uma coisa com você I want to share something with you nós enfrentamos nesta marcha for this march we had to face um período difícil a tough time porque o brasil estava em greve because brazil stopped for 10 days e não tinha combustível and there were no gas mas nós lutamos but we were fighting e quando nós soubemos que vocês vinham and when we knew that you were about to come for the march eu falei para fernanda I told my daughter. Fala para eles virem. Tell them to come. Porque eu sei. Because I know. Que há um propósito de Deus. Because God has a, a, a plan for that. Homens não podem mudar. And what God has for us, men can change it. Eu creio que hoje. And what I believe is é that today. grandes coisas. It's the beginning of a new, big things that God is starting right now, right here. Em nome de Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is the Jesus March. The Hernandez family, our partnered network here, Ready Gospel. We made it. We're together. <laughs> the March for Jesus is happening.